hello guys welcome to my channel my name is ij if you're a returning subscriber thank you and if you're new here please do well to hit the red subscribe button and please turn on the post notification bell so today i'll be showing you how to make a diy balloon sleeve simplest freehand method so let's get started This is the fabric i'll be working with and the width here is 23 inches on foot so when you open up this is 46 inches so i used my upper arm circumference times three which is 15 inches times three that will give me 45 inches plus one inch seam allowance that's how i arrived at 46 inches so the length of the sleeve is supposed to be 18 inches but i added three inches extra because of the elastic so i have 21 inches here so to achieve this you need to have your basic sleeve pattern so you just place yours like this just like this and I'll trace out this curve so the next thing I'll do is to link here to this place what you need to do next is to cut out this place so I'll get my scissors and I'll cut here just like this next I will take it to my machine and run a loose stitch all the way up to here so I'll open it up like this just like this so at this point I'll run a loose stitch all the way to about this point. So the purpose of the loose stitch is to get the gather effect. So I'll do it and show you how it looks like. I run the loose stitch. The next thing is to pick up one thread, just one. So you're going to pull like this. You're just going to pull gently. You can see I'm already having the gathering effect. Just keep pulling just keep pulling gently so i'll do this until i get to this other end so guys this is how it is after gathering it so you can see the balloon sleeve is already taking shape the next thing i'm going to do is to put this together right side facing right side just like this and i'm going to sew a one inch seam allowance so after that, at the hem, I'll be folding in three quarter of an inch to form a casing for our elastic. This is how our sleeve looks like after sewing the one inch seam allowance. So at the bottom parts, why sewing? I left a one inch space. So the space is where I'm going to be passing in my elastic. Next, we're going to be fixing our elastic at the bottom part here. So to determine the length of the elastic to use, you just subtract two to three inches from your round sleeve. So my round sleeve is 12 and a half and I subtracted two and a half inches. So I have 10 inches elastic here. So I'll get my safety pin just like this so I have this here then I'll pass it through the one inch allowance I left so that one inch space I'll just keep going like this but you have to secure this end so you can just hold it like this and you keep passing in you just keep passing like this just like this gently until you get to this other end so i'm going to do this and i'll show you how it looks like so i'm done with the elastic i'm done passing it around so this is how it looks like so i'm going to take it like this gently just to secure it so i'll run like two stitches on it so guys after securing my elastic i went ahead to close the one inch space i left so this is how it looks like so this is the final look of our sleeve you can see our balloon sleeve you can see the effect already so see our sleeve just ready to be fixed to any dress so guys please note the outcome of your sleeve is dependent on the type of fabric you use and the volume or quantity of fabric you're going to use so guys for instance i have this here 
and this is the chiffon fabric and this is times two of my upper arm circumference this is an ankara fabric and this is times three of my upper arm circumference so the more your fabric the more the balloon effect so guys i hope this tutorial was helpful so we've come to the end of this tutorial please like share and subscribe to support my channel thank you